Lynn McCord, you know her from shows like Nip and Tuck, 90210, and her new movie, Watch Your Back, is on Lifetime this Saturday. But she's also been taking on a role in the fight to end violence against women. Uh, she'll be speaking at the United Nations tomorrow. Anna Lynn McCord, welcome to Good Day New York. Thank you. How did you get involved with this topic? Um, well, the long and short of it is I'm a survivor of sexual assault, and I've been working with anti-human trafficking organizations for the last six years, hoping to end the issue of slavery, which I don't think we should have in 2015 or ever in our world. Um, but this has, you know, turned into one thing and another, and finally me being able to come out with my story and, and talk about your that. story. I mean, it's, it's very shocking. I, I, I didn't know that, um, and obviously you're probably carrying a lot of scars from that experience without I guess getting into too many details can you give us an overview of what happened yeah well I think the biggest thing I want people to know is I'm okay <laughs> I was assaulted I was raped one night but I'm not tainted I'm not damaged I you know I still like having sex with my consensual partner when it's beautiful and it's a choice you know but I I really want to have a conversation about this issue I've, I've been aligned with no more as an ambassador as of last week so this is really exciting because this is a campaign that is doing that it's talking about it so much of us think wrongly that slavery ended you know in the 19th century uh, yeah. but it is happening right now globally tell us uh, where the worst of it is well unfortunately it's in every country of the world it's every here country. in the United States yes we have about 250,000 victims is presumed within our borders. Um, the American citizens that are vulnerable to it are foster kids, runaways, people who won't be missed. The average age of getting into prostitution in the United States is 12 years old. Hmm. I work with an organization based in Cambodia, but obviously we raise awareness for this issue globally because we need to join hands and cross the aisle and actually fight this together.